Hey Wits, welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Matt. I'm a tiny bit crazy, but at least I'm honest. Sorry it's been so long. I know. The reason is because literally there's never any time to film here because there's always chaos happening in this house. If you hear stomping above my head, I'm so sorry. I'm in a basement right now. But <laughs> today... We are unboxing, or like I have a big haul of candle making supplies that I've acquired over the past couple weeks. Um, I have a giant shop update coming January 7th of 2021. So mark your calendars. It'll be on my brand new website, spellyoulater.com. Mm, yep, she's got a dot com girl. <laughs> but I'm going to show you all the stuff that I bought to make some new candles. Um, I've already tested them. They're fabulous. I love them so much. If you're on my Instagram, you've already seen them. But let's just get into it because this introduction has already been a minute long. <laughs> Thank you for staying around. One of like those really cool candle making things that I've seen people do is they'll take like a silicone mold like so um, and fill it with wax and then drill a hole in the middle of like the flower or whatever and stick it on top of a regular candle and then it's just pretty. This smells so good. I made obviously <laughs> roses in it um, and I used a, ro a rose fragrance oil that I actually am going to show you in a little bit. And it just smells so good. Anyway, this is the first one I got. Um, this one I got on Etsy. I want to say for like $4. They have some really cheap ones. And I also got this little baby heart one. They are so much smaller than I thought they were going to be. So I might just use them as like embeds. Maybe for soap. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. And then I went to a thrift store recently and found... Did you hear that? <laughs> I went to a thrift store recently and found this bad boy. It's humongous, and these things are huge. It doesn't really... You can't really tell on camera, but they're really big. They look like mini cakes, I don't know, or something. But they're all kinds of different flowers, so I'm going to have a lot of fun with that one. I think I got this for $2, which is so cheap for a silicone mold like that. Next. I should have taken stuff out of the plastic bag because it's noisy and annoying, and I hate that sound. <laughs> but my mom accompanied me to a huge candle making supply store that's about an hour and a half away from here. It's amazing. The owner was so sweet. I love her so much. I'm going to go back so much because the prices were great and the service was great, and it's cheaper than getting it shipped to me from online. So... My mom picked out some stuff that I'm going to make candles for her. Um, and then she bought them so I could experiment with them and then give it to her as a gift. So it's not really mine, but I'm going to show you anyway. So she loves Woodwick candles. So we got some Woodwicks. Oh, and you can see that my supplier is Keystone Candle Supplies here in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to experiment with these Woodwicks, and if they're great, then I'm going to offer them in my shop as well, because I love them too. She loves lilac, so I got this lilac blossoms. There is screaming happening. I'm so sorry if you can hear that. This one, I'm not a huge fan of, but my mom is obsessed with lilacs, so she bought that one. Um, to me, I don't really know what lilacs smell like, because I haven't really been around them. But I mean, it smells good. It smells like flowers. <laughs> Super cool. And then, oh my god, I hate this one. I hate it with all of my heart and soul. I hate it so much. Um, sorry, mom. <laughs> she bought a, a love spell from Victoria's Secret. Like, look-alike. Not look-alike. A scent-alike. I don't know. Smell-alike. Something. <laughs> it smells just like Victoria's Secret love spell. And it reminds me of, like, the waft of fragrance that would come out of, like, the middle school girl's locker room as you would walk by. Mm, no. No, no. No. And then, um, Keystone Candle Supply also has, like, dye chips for the candles. And this one is purple. You can't tell because they look black. There's cheekbones here. I just realized that I'm wearing a Fiddler on the Roof Junior shirt. <laughs> the shirt was from a middle school play I was in. And it still fits me. 
Okay, we're back after some slight interruptions. Uh, um, they look like little diamonds. You just um, plop one into your wax and it melts. It takes quite a while to melt, but the candle, uh, the the color payoff is worth it. Um, I asked her how much wax, um, like one chip could dye, and she said ten pounds. I think she may have meant like the entire packet dyes ten pounds of wax, but. I don't know, I could be wrong. I haven't dyed 10 pounds of wax all in one go. So I used half of a chip for two, for two roses. Ooh, mica everywhere. Um, and that was the perfect amount of color. So I assume that it's not 10 pounds of wax for one chip. Anyway, that one was purple. So that was all the supplies that my mom got for her candles and my experimenting with her candles and that's the... I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, moving on to the next stuff. After I pack this stuff away. So next is the stuff that I bought for my birth... My, my birthness. My birthness. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I don't know. So, story. I got some wicks. Super fun. Woo! These are C75 wicks. I think that just means they're cotton and 75 and 70 are the sizes. Really cool, fascinating, huh? Um, but I got three bags of them. Where can I put these? Perfect. Here's my cat. Um, so I got this Nog Champa scent and this scent catapults me back to middle school. Uh, it smells just like Hot Topic, and the first thing I ever purchased from there was like like a newsboy cap that <laughs> was like distressed and had holes in it and whatever. I loved that hat so much, and when I bought it, it smelled just like Nog Champa, because that's when they actually used to burn it in the store. I don't think they do anymore. Can you move, Missy? Story. The next fragrance is the Rose Bouquet that I was talking about earlier. This is the best smelling rose oil I've ever smelled in my whole life. Um, it smells like fresh roses. It doesn't smell like a granny rose or anything like that. It smells just like a fresh rose and I spilled it on my hand. <laughs> Thank God they're skin safe. <laughs> the next one I purchased was Blackberry Sage. This is like a fruity scent, but it has like the perfect amount of sage in it. To make it a little bit more earthy it smells so freaking good i just want to drink it i like can't explain to you how good it smells it's like fruity but it's not like sweet it's like fruity and earthy at the same time i don't know it just smells amazing i'm spilling these all over me i need a towel please not on stage i need a towel it's literally all over me cool i hope it's not getting on my nightstand this video is absolute chaos. What else is new? Um, so the next one I got is Eucalyptus Spearmint. If you're familiar with Bath and Body Works and their stress relief, it smells exactly like that. And it smells so good. So good. I don't know what is with me in like an Australian accent lately. I can't stop doing it. <laughs> I can't stop. Uh, that's kind of more British. I don't know. And then the last fragrance that I purchased is a balsam fir. It smells just like a Christmas tree. It smells so good. They had like 42 different Christmas tree scents and this was this one was the best one in my opinion. So I bought it. I love like that fresh balsam scent. There are more um, dye chips. I got navy blue. Cool. Butterscotch. Cool. Ruby red. Cool. Black, of course, a witchy staple. And forest green. With those colors, I could mix them and make whatever other colors that I want. And then I have the purple from my mom's stuff too. And I finally invested in a cheap little wick trimmer because using scissors to get down into a candle jar it is damn near impossible. I hate it. So, finally invested in a $6 wick trimmer. Fun. So, um, is that pretty much it? 
And then that's all my regular candle making stuff that I have been using already. So it's not that interesting. It's all used. Um, I have a giant 50 pound bag of Golden Wax 464 upstairs. Um, it's soy wax. That's what they sold to me at Keystone. So that's what I'll be using from now on because I don't want to have to pay for shipping. When I tell you picking up the wax in person was like half price to what it is online. Yeah, I gagged. Um, and then I also have a whole bunch of vintage glassware. I have literally three giant boxes of vintage glassware that I'm going to be putting these candles in. I will show you those in this video, um, but not in this setting because that would be hard. So when I go upstairs to make candles later, I will show you those. So here is my candle making setup for today. I'm trying to make as many as I possibly can for this shop update, but I'll just go around and show you some of the crystal pieces. I'm not sure if all of these will be available on January 7th, but a lot of them will be. These are already wicked and ready to go. These are depression glass and they come with matching saucers. Some carnival glass there, some crystal elephants. I love that duck, so I had to get it. <laughs> It'll make such a cute candle. It's kind of creepy, but it's cute. <laughs> A little strawberry, a teapot, and then all of these candy dishes back here, these all have like lids that go on top. I love this one right here, this one's gorgeous. And this skull, that would make a cool candle. But those are all the glass pieces that I got. I have my wax going right now, so I will try to make a video on how I make candles sometime. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so thank you so much for sticking it out to the end. I know this video was pure chaos, like all of my videos have been lately. Oh my God, <laughs> my life is just in turmoil 24 seven. Um, but I embrace it, you know, it's fun, right? It's so fun. <laughs> Keep a lookout for my shop restock at spellulator.com on January 7th of 2021. That's about a week from now. Keep an eye out for it. I'm so excited. I have so many things launching. I have all of these new candles, new tarot bags, new intention oils, new candle magic powders, literally, literally everything. That was horrible. <laughs> Um, yeah, all of it's brand new. Some of it's being restocked from previous launches because I'm sold out of a lot of stuff right now because I've been slacking because it's been Christmas and because I've been stressed and my wrist has been broken. Not broken, but carpal tunnel. It's a bitch. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I will spell you later.